Hi, my name is Nicole and I have the superpower of being such an underwhelming start to the week that everyone knows that we can only go up from here. So this week we are talking about superheroes, except I'm actually filming this on Wednesday right before I give this camera back because I wanted to do one last video with this camera. So the, it, it's not really this week for me on this side of the camera. Well, I mean, it's this, it is this week. My this week is not the same as your this week. This is where I could talk about YouTube as being its own particular kind of time travel superpower. Oh, we're talking about superheroes this week. Did I say that already? I'm about to go into my last day of work for this semester, so I'm like really frazzled and trying to figure out what to say. I also didn't sleep that much last night, even though my last paper, my last thing was handed in yesterday. I came home and watched the entire first season of Buffy instead of sleeping. Buffy qualifies as a superhero. I don't care if you agree or not, but she does. She's a superhero. So I'm in the middle of five kids and my sisters are the oldest and youngest and then the two on either side of me are my brothers. So growing up I was always really big on the things that had, you know, teams where there were actually legitimate female characters. I mean, we played a lot of video games, a lot of like Street Fighter and uh, Mortal Kombat. As far as comic book superheroes are concerned, it's X-Men all the way. The cartoon version of Rogue that I grew up on is awesome, and I have a like deep hatred of Anna Paquin as a result of her portrayal of Rogue. I I'm aware that like, you know, there are writers and directors and all sorts of other people that went into this particular interpretation of Rogue. The first wasn't that bad. It the, the all of the rest of them. Rogue unacceptable. Cartoon Rogue was so sassy and cool and awesome. Elementary school me was like, that girl, she's so cool. I mean, maybe her powers aren't really what I would choose if I could choose to have powers, but she's so cool that I don't care. I mean, she could fly, so that's a cool power, like if you don't think about the I mean, other power due in large part to the you know disproportionate balance of male superheroes to female superheroes the options were more limited in terms of finding superhero characters you could identify with but for me it was a lot less about who had the coolest powers and more about who was just like generally awesome thus rogue was always my favorite oh rogue if I could actually choose a superpower, setting aside this who I think is the most awesome thing and just the picking actual superpowers, I feel like the biggest thing is you have to consider the, how common superpowers are in this hypothetical world in which I can choose to have a superpower. If I'm going to be the only one, then I feel like there are certain constraints in terms of making myself inconspicuous, I guess. In a world where there are a lot of superpowers, I would definitely go with the cheater answer, which it helps like when there are conversations and I can like wait and then go last, but I can't because I'm first now. The whole absorbing other people's powers, but specifically the like Peter Petrelli heroes version of absorbing other people's powers, but like without all the feelings. I don't know if I'd want to sign myself up to have that many feelings. I feel like I just sullied my entire video by bringing up heroes. I don't know what I'm gonna use from all the minutes of nonsense I've just recorded, but that is me talking about superheroes because that is our theme for this week. Brittany, who is your favorite superhero? Who are your favorite superheroes? And if you could choose any superpower for yourself, what would it be?